Hi, this is Ed Davis, and what we're going to try to do today is create a little game where our cat sprite runs away from the mouse pointer. Now, as you can see, I have the uh, cat sprite over here with a simple backdrop. We're going to start with the green flag block. Now, we, what we want to do is make our cat run away from the mouse. Now, normally, what we would do is we could use the block here that makes the sprite go go towards the mouse pointer. As you can see here, if I click the flag, he starts moving towards me. So I want to change that a little bit, okay? So what we want to do now is have him move 10 steps. And as you can see now, he's going towards the pointer. And what I'd like to do is make that happen forever. Okay, so here we go. Now he's going towards the mouse pointer. Let's put him back here. Now, first of all, we don't want him going off the edge. So we're going to go and get the usual if on edge bounce. Just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the rotation style when he hits the edge to left or right. And we can kind of change that if we want. You could go in and go to all around. That will make him go like crazy, as you can see. But what we want to do now is to make him run away. So to make him run away, we're going to change 10 to negative 10. So what happens now is he is now, as you can see, running away. But we want to score some points. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to events. And we're going to grab when the sprite is clicked. Now we're going to introduce a new thing. We're going to go to our data. Okay, and what we're going to do here is we're going to make a variable. And the variable is going to be called score. Simple enough. And let's just make it for this sprite only in case we want to add things on. So what we want to do when we click the sprite is we want to have them change the score by one. Let's add a little bit of sound here. Okay, so what we're going to do here is when we, the sprite is clicked, let's see if we can make this uh, play the sound. Okay, here we go. And let's see. Alright, so let's just keep it at that. My other cat went meow. So here we go. We're going to try to click him. Oh, he's too quick for me. That's what happens when an ancient old teacher tries to play a video game. Oh. This is a good, good uh, game if you want to have your students try to develop their coordination. Okay. You can see now he's got caught moving as soon as we get him going. Okay, so it's a little more challenging if you keep him bouncing around. So let's go back here. Send it to all around. As you can see now, he's a lot more elusive. Pretty hard for me to catch. Yeah, I got him once. Okay, this is Ed Davis. I hope you enjoyed playing this game. And it's a pretty simple one to make in scratch. Thank you.